In this video, I'm gonna attempt to spend over $100 on food here at Disneyland Paris. Can I eat $100 worth of food in one day here in this theme park? It seems like it should be easy. Oh, $10 hot dog, $12 donut, but then suddenly around $70, $80, $90, you start getting full. Is that gonna happen to me? I'm gonna find out. That's the intro, you know the rules, let's go eat. I tried a similar challenge in the past. That was in Disney World in Florida, the original, the OG. I got very close, but I didn't quite get there. 99.70, we didn't spend $100. We were so close. Today, I'm going for the gold again. Okay, we've come to our first location here, Market House Deli, and the menu is like nothing I've ever seen at any other Disney park. They have sandwiches in the shape of Mickey Mouse's head. They have a beignet, celebration Mickey sandwich, or a celebration Mickey sandwich with vegetables. Okay, same price. Turns out the vegetables don't cost any money. Let's see how it is. If you thought the lines for the ride were long, wait till you try to get food. And now we wait. I think that's it right there. That's with vegetables. Okay, I'm not getting that. Aha, uh -huh. right here we have the beignets and beer. This right here is our first meal out of several. And I gotta say, I already spent almost $20. At Disney World in the Magic Kingdom, no alcohol sales are allowed. But here, they're selling beer, 1664. Never heard of it. This is $6. Can you imagine? I could easily drink 10 of these. That's $60. Very nice. Right here, we have the sandwich. I do like the shape of it. I'm very impressed that they were able to make Mickey ears out of bread like this. When you lift the top off, you got ham, ham, and cheese. On the very bottom, I think there's some butter. To me, the ratio is what's off. There's so much bread to filling ratio. They could probably put some of that nine and a half dollars towards, uh, you know, more fillings. Let's try it out. I'm so sorry, guys. There's kids at this park. I did not expect that. Ear bites, you know, just like eating lechon. The ears are the best part. They're very crunchy. They have a little bit of cartilage inside. And uh, it's no difference with mouse ears than with lechon. Very crunchy, very delicious. Let's try a head bite. Just as I feared, the ratio is all off. I think this would work if you just took the top off completely. Like this, it's gonna be much better. Let's try it out, the other ear. It is a ham and cheese sandwich. It does not pretend to be anything else. Good enough, it's not blowing my socks off. This right here, the beignet. I've had a beignet before when I was in New Orleans. Beignets in New Orleans are delicious because the dough is fresh. They get put in the hot oil, they get taken out, they hit it with some powdered sugar, and then you eat it immediately while it's hot and steaming. Oh, it's hot. None of that on here. This feels cold. It doesn't feel freshly fried or anything like that, but maybe it's full of something. Oh yes, it is definitely full of something. This looks to be some kind of a chocolate custard or pudding. Oh, wow. It is like a super sweet, just straight up ball of frosting right in the middle of this beignet. The dough, not too dry. It's a little bready. Oh, there's another chocolate reservoir on the side. So there's just random bits of chocolate here and there. So if you share with the friends, be like, hey, why don't you have the ear? I'll just have this boring head with all the chocolate. <laughs> 19 and a half bucks, that's what I spent so far. Let's keep moving. All right, right now we're in Casey's Corner. Here they have Casey's famous hot dogs. I don't know about you guys, I've never heard of Casey or his hot dogs, so I'm not sure how famous it could be. Everyone here is wearing a baseball uniform. I do believe they are not real baseball players. I think they just serve you the food, which is always nice, and I appreciate that. Round two, and I gotta say, I feel pretty bad for talking crap about Casey because look at this. This is awesome, first of all, the dog. I, I'm pretty impressed, barbecue, chips on top. I'm not sure what else is in there. A lot of fun surprises. But first, the baseball. I like when I said, what is this? He goes, baseball. Uh, yeah, but like what kind of food is what I meant. I still don't know what it is. It doesn't feel cold enough to be ice cream. It has like a jello-y feel to it when I jiggle it. It jiggles quite a bit. They've given me a wooden spoon because, you know, no single-use plastics, except for this cup. Mmm, it's like a custard. That is delicious. Look at this. On the bottom, there's like some kind of a sauce that just sprayed out of it. This baseball is full of surprises. This four dollars, one of the most innovative foods I've seen anywhere. I was gonna say in Disney, anywhere in France. France is known for gastronomy, but have you ever seen a custard baseball full of brown sugar something? I like it. Look at this. This is something I would have created back in my college days when I was busy uh, playing video games and smoking plants. Oh, there's a caramelized onion on here. There's barbecue, a little bit of everything. Let's try it out. 
Mm -hmm. Oh, it's good. As soon as I took a bite, it felt like my whole world got brighter. That is a surprisingly delicious combination. I gotta say, the dog is pretty decent quality too. For 11, this is a pretty decent hot dog. Remember when I went to Animal Kingdom? They gave me a $10 hot dog. It looked so pathetic. It, it just looked like from a local quick trip or a grocery store or gas station. This looks like a real beef dog or pork or mouse. I'm not sure what's in there. Maybe little bits of Mickey Mouse. This is an $11 hot dog, but it looks and tastes like an $8 hot dog. This is the only thing that looked interesting to me at the kiosk behind me. I gotta say, I looked at the price of the popcorn, $10. That's wild. Well, it doesn't look like the picture now, does it? Now, to be fair to the gentleman, he did say it is a little bit messy. Do you still want it? I said yes. Secondly, he didn't ask me uh, which gender I want my food to be in. Apparently, uh, he picked a girl. It's a biscuit mini. The retrieval, the extraction is gonna be a little bit difficult because it is sure sticking to that plastic. Oh, there we go. Somewhat successful extraction. And I add one point for any food here that's shaped like Mickey Mouse's head or Minnie Mouse his head too. As always, I think we gotta go with an ear. Let's do it. It's a sugar cookie and it's covered in a pretty gooey frosting on the outside. Doesn't taste bad. It just tastes like your average sugar cookie. Crunchy, not soft. Looking at the picture, I thought this was gonna be a cake pop. It's not a cake pop. Cake pop is like when they put that sweet dough, almost like, well, it's like cake on a popsicle. That is the mini magical shortbread lollipop. Keep going. Yeah! Behind me, another snack shop with snacks and also desserts, chicken nuggets, eh. But this, come take a look. It's a Mustafar bite. You know, everyone's favorite Disney character, Mustafar. Who's Mustafar? That is cheddar cheese and jalapeno, and it's in a black fried bread. Over here, a Darth Vader waffle. I just want to know how somebody French would say Darth Vader. Darth, Darth Vader, Le Darth Vader. Hello, sir. The bad guy in Star Wars, how would you pronounce his name? Darth Vader. Darth Vader. Darth Vader. Ah, I was pretty close. I'm a little bit distraught right now because I really wanted the Darth Vader waffle, but they're sold out, obviously, because so many people love them. So instead, I got this. This is a Yoda-shaped ice cream, chocolate and vanilla flavor. The problem with these is every time they look perfect and pristine on the packaging on the outside with these really precise, fine lines, and then when you open it up, it just looks like, yeah, what's that? It looks like a Teenage Mutant Ninja Yoda. What expression would would you call that? Is that happiness? Yeah. Come on, buddy. It's gonna be all right. Even though he's a baby, somehow he has the postpartum depression. He looks sad. He looks like he's putting on a smile for the cameras. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, the green, I thought might taste like mint. It tastes like chocolate. And the chocolate also tastes like chocolate. This is three and a half bucks. Not a great deal. Here, this is what I'm really excited about. This is the black skinned cheese nugget. Let's break it open. You can see exploding with cheese and chilies. All right, let's try it out. I was worried it was gonna be too processed tasting, but it tastes pretty good. It's almost like a cheese sauce with chilies. It's a little bit spicy, super heavy, oily. This costs $10, and I know what you're thinking. It's not bad, except no. To make it look good for the beauty shots, I had to put my shot of espresso inside. It's just that. Go look at the picture on the menu. This is so empty compared to what they show you. Gotta say, pretty tasty. It's one of my favorite things so far. Nice toasty bread on the outside too. <laughs> found a crepe. This is authentic French food, finally. Now, there are two ways to get your crepe. They are pre-made, they warm it up for you, and then you can either fill it with sugar or with Nutella. I don't like Nutella. I'd never tried it before until I was like in my 30s, and I tried it, and I was like, Everyone loves that. It's like nutty chocolatey frosting. I'm not into it. So I just got the crepe with straight up sugar. We're going full French here in Disneyland. Wow, very sweet. That is just a S load of sugar on there. It's just pure sugar. The texture of the crepe is good, even though it's not like a freshly made crepe. It is warmed up, it's stretchy, it's nice. I wish there was something else. I wish there was like cream cheese or a whipped cream. Take a look at that. That is supposed to be a shell, I guess. It is for the 30 year anniversary. They have special treats for that. That is the top. They cooked it in some kind of a tin to give it this rippled shell shape. And the sugar definitely comes off under your fingers. Huh. Kind of the candy, thick frosting coating on the outside. Bread feels a bit dry and not super delicious. Uh, not even medium delicious. So my favorite is a crepe between the two. I'd probably just get it plain next time. No sugar, no Nutella. And in fact, I would bring my own whipped cream into the park. This one. Put that away. Okay, one more. Here's the scary part. I'm getting quite full. We're not done yet. I think we're about 60% of the way through. We have to keep going. 
here's the situation. It's getting pretty bleak out here. Unbeknownst to us, almost every restaurant closes at 5.30 before dinner time. I don't understand. So this is one of the few remaining places that are still open. It's pouring rain outside. Everyone panicked, they freaked out. And everyone came in here, one of the last final places still serving hot food. Good news is they have a ton of food on the menu here. Let's check it out. All right, right here we have our most expensive meal yet because it's not some little street food or desserts or snacks. This is basically two meals, $37 for all this right here. It's like burger, french fries, drink, and a dessert. I'm gonna start here with the french fries because they are quickly dying. Um, you know, I don't come in here and do these videos intentionally to be cynical, but these are awful. Like two out of 10, it's like mashed potatoes. Okay, limp, cold, leathery, a little bit of salt, bland. It tastes like sadness and sorrow. This is the BB-8 special. It's a ball-themed burger. There we go, yes, and you see, they have the BB-8 right here seared into the bun. His little ball head, his little ball body, and his inner ball. There's like a salad in there, it's beef, there's bacon, some kind of an orange sauce. On the underside, nothing, naked. That's pretty good. I wonder if the orange is to reflect the orangeness of Mr. Uh, 88B, STD, BB-8. I like that. But at about $17 per burger, eh, it's pushing it. Maybe not quite. This is their 30 year anniversary gourmet burger. Non-traditional bun. White bun, maybe a brioche bun. That feels good. It feels soft, toasted, lots of vegetables. Two tomatoes in one spot, nice. They want to concentrate the tomato flavor to this particular region. I'm going to undo that and disperse the tomato flavor. Two patties with cheese in between. A little bit of onion. So lots of different action happening in one lone burger. Mmm. Bobby Poo. Lots of beef. Beef is not dry. Good fresh vegetables. You know, like if you get a double quarter pounder, that's too much beef. This is like the maximum allowable amount of beef in a burger. I like that. I gotta say, does it feel gourmet? It's getting real close. Next, they gave us this dessert. 30 year anniversaries. Go look at the menu. Zoom in. Zoom in again. Put that word into Google. Play it on Google. Chocolate mousse and sponge cake. Ah, is that kind of a dessert? The hardest part of doing this food tour today has been that I've been looking for foods that are either French or shaped like Mickey Mouse. But I haven't found that much French stuff until right now. Let's dig into an ear. I mean, it is French and shaped like Mickey. It is the best combination of all. Oh, look at those layers. Try it out. Taking my sweet. Oh, it tastes like a tiramisu. It's chocolate and coffee and cake. I like it. I mean, you know, for a bonus dessert, I think that's pretty good. This is a free dessert they gave us because it is the 30 year anniversary. So this looks like a donut, some kind of a jelly or chocolate filled donut. On top, this is like a Disney Plus day. Go get Disney Plus. It's sweet and tastes like frosting. It's a donut. Maybe they would consider it a beignet. And then a load of chocolatey frosting inside. It's like we're starting and ending the day in a very similar way. Not shaped like Mickey, but a great advertisement. I'm surprised they don't have a QR code on here that you can scan for 10% off. So that is $37 plus one free dessert. I gotta finish eating all this. Then we're gonna go outside if it's not raining and finally contabulate the results and see if we spent over $100. I hope so. Guys, that is the end of the video. We did the contabulations. I'm, at, well, I'm showing you right now on screen and it's not good. I would eat more food if I could, but I simply cannot fit more in my body at this point and we have just barely missed $100. Wait, what's that? That's right. This is champagne. It costs $15. Was it $15? Jesus, that's a Anyways, that's not the point. This costs $15. What's that do? That puts us over $100. This challenge has been destroyed. <sighs> Disney Paris, maybe you don't have all your restaurants closed at 5.30? What, that's a weird idea. But still clean, pleasant, super loud music. More kids than I imagined. A lot of kids. Guys, that is the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time. A peace. All right, I'm gonna go find Mickey Mouse's house and rip him on a bed and give him a hug, a consensual hug. <laughs> Welcome to the Best Ever Merch Store, where you can check out our brand new designs. Best Ever Bandanas in black, white, and red. The Please Send Nudes Hoodie. Pillow Soft Fabric with a quality custom graphic inlay. And our Street Food Around the World Graphic Tee. We're now shipping everywhere around the world. Just visit shopbesteverfood.com or click the link in the description below to get your new merch today. A peace.